Recently, I needed a PDF file with links inside the document. Usually, I use Affinity Designer for creating PDF files. However, Affinity Designer does not have the option to create links inside the document. We can use Affinity Publisher though. The idea is to define anchors in the document. Once we have anchors, we can create links to these anchors. I would advise to turn on the Anchors panel from the View Reference section. Now that we have our Anchors panel, it is quite simple to create anchors. Let's go to the object we want the link to. Once we select our object, the new Anchor button will be enabled in the Anchor panel. Another option to create an anchor is by using the Context menu. Right-click while the object is selected and then use the Insert Anchor from the Interactive submenu. Give it a meaningful name and make sure Export as PDF Bookmark is turned on. Now we can create the link. Let's go to the first page, select the text and use the Context menu. From Interactive we can select the Insert Hyperlink. In the Hyperlink Properties dialog, choose Anchor as the type and choose the anchor we just created. By the way, if you have enabled Hyperlinks panel, you could also use the plus button from that panel. The cool part is that we can put hyperlinks to text but also to other objects. For example, I can put a hyperlink to the arrow. Let's export this as a PDF. I do not want facing pages in the PDF, so let's select all pages for the area. Also, make sure that include hyperlinks and bookmarks are checked in the advanced properties. Let's load the generated PDF in our viewer, and indeed, we got the links as we wanted. Awesome! If you don't have Affinity Publisher, you can also use Microsoft Word or PowerPoint to create PDF files with internal links. In Word, the process is very similar. Anchors are called bookmarks and can be accessed from the Insert tab. Move your cursor to the position where you want to set a bookmark or select the object. Open up the bookmarks and give your bookmark a name and press Add. Now, select the object or the text that needs to have a link to the bookmark we just created. From the Insert tab, use Link and select this document. We can now select the bookmark we just created. When I export or save this document as a PDF file, the link will be in the PDF. Make sure to use the best for printing option. The process for PowerPoint is very similar, with as difference that you cannot make bookmarks and only create links to other slides. I will select the objects that I need to be a link and use the link button from the insert tab. We can now select this document and choose the slide we want the link to. Let's export the presentation as a PDF and test it out. And indeed, the link works. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked this video. And please subscribe if you want to see more videos about affinity and graphic design. Until the next video.